What's up, guys? So, um, I'm just gonna do a uh, quick. I'm gonna just do a quick video um, as a run through today. Um, just kind of briefly, re just kind of going over some stuff from there's coming up, stuff I've done, and stuff I just kind of want to talk about briefly. Um, one of the, obviously one of the things that I'm doing is uh, coming up on the. Th 30th of, uh, the 30th of March, uh, I believe it is, I think it might actually be the 31st, but I think I'll make it the third. I might even make it earlier than that, I'm not sure, I'm thinking of actually wrapping up NorCal Corner here very soon, um, uh, for its sixth season, um, with that, I will be taking about a two-week reprieve from all this, I'll be kind of taking a break, I'll probably get, gather up a bunch of articles, uh, then I'll release a new NorCal News, and then we'll probably get started with Corner Season 7 right after that. So, um, but yeah, uh, I want to do it on the 30th because I wanted to give you guys time to send in, uh, you know, questions, just any questions, general questions, political questions, sex questions um i'm pretty much open to anything other than real personal questions because i don't take personal questions i don't get into my personal life i don't get into my own personal business not very often and not very deep and uh i figured you know the le the less you guys know about me you know the safer i feel <laughs> the safer I make my I may think my family is not that I don't trust you guys I love you guys and I'm sure a lot of you guys are great people it's just for a lot of people have they have whatever they take a discretion on whatever they you know want to do such as me for example I make the discretion of putting my own face out there my own self for my own exploitation um i don't bring on family members i don't bring on friends well if i bring on friends i usually ask them if they want to do the video i don't have any like contracts i sign with them because this isn't like a tv deal or anything but i ask them point blank hey do you want to be in the video or would you just like to be on audio so i ask them that they'll come on if they want to do it, yeah, we'll do it that way. So I have friends, I have, co uh, I won't say colleagues, but fellow bloggers, activists, stuff like that that, that I talk to. Um, and we're just, uh, we just do a lot of that. Now, um, but anyway, yeah, NorCal Corner Season 6 will probably start up probably within the next month or so, uh, or season seven, sorry, um, a brand new NorCal News will be coming, and, uh, so, just a few things to look forward to. The other thing that I was going to talk briefly about was, uh, obviously the thing with the DPRK and stuff like that, not much needs really to be said other than the fact that, yes, I am on the side of North Korea. Do I support the North Korean regime? No, because I don't. I don't believe. I believe that the North Korean regime needs to become a little bit more of a democratic socialist society. It needs to run more on a democratic principle. Um. Uh, but at the same time, the reason why I defend the DPRK is because they have done nothing. Uh, illegal uh, to international law when you consider like the supposed missile launch which was actually just nothing more than a satellite launch you know they're building up their military in their 
in the response to defend themselves, and yet they're received with nothing but sanctions from from uh, the U.S. and other imperialist powers. And I think it was uh, and I think it was Jason uh, Unruh uh, who said <laughs> who says that the United States may win the battle, but they cannot win. You know, they cannot win in the occupation. And I agree. The U.S. can, they could go in, completely obliterate the Korean People's Army, but because, but, the, the, the absolute humanitarian abuses and atrocities and just the poor way that Americans have treated Koreans, you know, with raping their women, with, and their students, and just, taking and just absolutely just taking advantage of people killing people even that I would not be surprised if there is not a resistance movement that rises up out of all that so the US could occupy the Korean Peninsula but it will not last long they cannot outlast an out occupation they can win a battle or a war but they will not win in the occupation so it, it comes down to that essentially that whole thing you may have won the battle but you will not win the war phrase that is essentially what the US needs to understand it can win the battle it will not win the war so and personally North Korea has every right to defend itself that is why personally I stand for I stand for uh, I stand on their side because I believe that they have a right to defend themselves and they should not be subjected to the aggression and imperialist motives of the West, especially their South Korean adversary. So that's where I stand on that. I've had people that have already bitched at me because I've taken this side, but you know what? It's my opinion. It's my stance. I have a right to stand on that side if I want to, and I am not going to be coerced by any imperialist, you know, pig into telling me who I can and cannot root for. Just because I'm an American does not mean that I should be rooting for the American military, for the American side. If I want to root for the North Koreans, I will. I mean, think about it. It's kind of like rooting it's kind of like being in let's say being in New York you know you may be a Yankee fan does that mean that everybody has to be a Yankee fan or a Mets fan no there's people that are Boston Red Sox fans there's people that are Dodger fans Giants fans people that are probably Tigers fans you know just because you live in, in L.A. or Oakland, does that mean that you have to be a Raider fan? No. There are people there that are Chargers fans and 49ers fans or Broncos fans. Some people I've even seen in Northern California, we've got a pretty good influx of Patriot fans that live in, this, in these parts amongst the Raider and Niner elite. So just, that's why... And, and even in the Olympics, it comes down to it. Do you have to root for your home, your home country? No. A lot of people do out of sheer nationalism. But for the most part, people are free to root for whichever country or team they want. And that's what it, and that when it comes down to war, I should be able to, to root for whoever I want, and I will. Go, go, DPRK. Go, go, DPRK. And fuck you all that that want to coerce me. Now, the last bit I wanted to talk... I'm running up on nine and a half minutes, so I'll make this brief as I can. Uh, I hate people that are always slandering uh, women for being a certain size. You know, there's always these people that say, you know, oh, well, she's fat, or oh, she's way too skinny, or, 
you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, I have a question for y'all. What in the fuck do you define as fat or skinny or perfect? And who in your, and who in the hell made you the, the skinny police? I'll tell you right fucking now, folks. Yes, I've been pointed out that, yes, I have, that I have uh, what some may call a double chin or something like that, especially if I get down like that. Yeah, I may have a little bit of fat on my jaw. It's called being healthy. I'm a stocky person. That's what I've always been. That's my build. I'm a stock. I am a stocky person. Even at my, even at my, at the average weight for a person my size, I will be. I will look slim but I will still look stocky because that is my build. Okay? And that's from a male perspective. So a female has the same is the same way. There's going to be, like men, there's going to be those lanky men, the stocky men, and the guys that are just, you know, that are that are what I would say is what Gabriel Iglesias calls damn but women, are, in a way, are the same way. They, there's no set value on what makes you beautiful, perfect, skinny, whatever you want to call it. Women can be, you know, don't have to be have that hourglass or almost anorexic figure to look sexy. In fact, there's women that are even big, very big boned that look sexy. I will tell you that right fucking now. And I don't think anybody should have the fucking right to, you know, go on and say that, you know, that just because that, you know, that girl has meat on her bones, that she's fat. Like, a lot of people say that, um, oh, hell, what's a good example? Uh, I guess Demi Lovato. Uh, a lot of people say because she's you know, not because she doesn't fit their status of being skinny that she's, you know, overweight or heavy. No, she's a very sexy, curvy woman. She actually has curves and meat on her bones, which actually is something that women should have. It, rather than being completely anorexic, like Kira Knightley. Although Kira Knightley put some weight back on, so she looks kind of good now. But, but, you know, when you look so when you're basically skin and bones and they're trying to tell you, well, that's sexy. I don't want to be fucking a corpse. Okay. I don't know about you, but I don't want to fuck a corpse. And that's what those pe women are that are, that are just complete skin and bone. You, that you can see their fucking, their fucking ribs. I don't want to be fucking a skeleton. And frankly, I just think that it's just so wrong in this society that we just completely, you know, outcast an entire group of women just because they have curves or they have a little bit of meat on their bones. And then we praise women that are basically just, that are, that just because they're, they're skinny or they're anorexic looking. That, that is not real, folks. That, that is just absolutely sexist. And it proves just how just disgusting and misogynistic and so very twisted that this society is that they would actually believe that. I don't know about you, but I think society needs to wake up and start realizing that just because a woman does not fit your, your fucking sexist stereotypes does not mean that she's not sexy or that she's not beautiful. All women are beautiful in their own way. And it's about fucking time. America and the world and society needs to start realizing that. Think about it. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace, bitches.